for today's episode, we're going to be using my Happy Planner. I apologize already for my croaky voice. I've been a little sick this season. So you can see I'm using my Happy Planner with a dotted spread, and I'm going to use it as a pseudo bullet journal for this month. What I've already done is I've already put in sticky notes on each page that I need to make sure is being um, kept and being created this month. I just peel them out, which I love about the Happy Planner, and I get ready to start creating. So what do we need today? We need our dotted paper, a ruler, a pen, and what I'm gonna use is my Kelly Create stickers and stamps. The reason I'm using these today is because I really fell in love with the cute little floral embellishments that she created around. She created like bullet journal borders and leaves and super cute things that we're gonna use today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my uh, Kelly Creates really cute floral stamp and I'm going to create a circle right in the middle. I'm going to fill it with hello and I'm going to fill it in with an October. Hello October. I love the stickers. So now I'm going to create the calendar. I measure out the calendar. If you're interested to know, it is 38 squares across and 45 squares down on the Happy Planner paper. Now that I've created my grid, I'm adding the days of the week and I'm going to add the calendar dates as well. Woohoo! There's a long weekend this month, so what I'm going to do is colour in the date that there is a long weekend. On to our next spread. Alright, let's finish off our calendar with a couple of the key things that are happening this month and a couple of embellishments. Right, on to our trackers kind of spread. You can see again I'm creating a border with the adorable floral stamps. And at the bottom I'm going to put a little banner and inside I'm going to write trackers. This month I am tracking four key things. I'm going to be tracking no spending, as always, stretching. Then I'm also going to be tracking the hashtags that I use and also videos. Okay, the next thing we're creating for this month is my ideal work schedule. We're going to start off with a mantra around balance and then creating a really cute floral border down the bottom. Once we've done that, we're going to create a 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. schedule. And in that, I'm going to kind of block out the times that I'm working, times that I'm doing exercising or stretching, or times that I'm waking up. Again, I'm using my watercolors just to fill in those color blocks so that I can clearly see when and where I'm trying to do things or trying to achieve things. By color blocking, I really make my time more efficient because I then stick to the times that I've hoped for during the week. And if anything changes from there, I can obviously change it in my calendar as well. Right, the first thing we're going to do is measure up the page to make sure that our stamps are going to be even. You can see in the slow dyed version here, I'm using my Kelly Create stamps to kind of stamp a border all the way around. And I go really slowly on the edges and use a spare piece of paper so that I don't stamp on the table. I then put in my Monday through to Friday and I'm using this as a vertical spread. I'm using Saturday and Sunday down the end because I don't use them as much as I do for the rest of the week. I now pop in the dates and we're essentially ready to go. Perfect, for the next spread we're going to create a little border. This time I'm using a floral stamp with a couple of roses in. I'm inking it up and sticking it kind of in the border that I've just created. 
What I'm going to do when I'm done is I'm going to create a border around this little floral artwork and it's going to create a really nice shape on my page. How simple and cute and effective is this? Now I'm using the same set of stamps and I'm creating little date borders. I'm now going to add some stickers that I absolutely love, also from the Happy Planner, but it's from the Amy Tangerine Be Happy box. I really like the rainbow colors of the days of the week, so I'm going to slap those into the little banners that I've created. I know that there's a black little notes word somewhere. I didn't want to use gold for this because of the really cool colors of the rainbow, so I decided to go with black. Pop in the dates and we're ready to go. This time we're creating another border, but this time we're going with the border down the middle of the page. I'm dividing up the page horizontally and stamping in Monday through to the weekend. I'm going to use notes down at the bottom and this time I'm using a gold notes. I'm going to finish it off with some black lines. I'm really trying to keep the spread as simple as possible. This time we're going to use the same border and we're going to kind of stamp all the way down the middle of the page. I wanted to do this to create a background for some of the really cute square stamps that were in the stamp, uh, sorry, in the sticker book. So off I went and I created my background and then I added these super cute little stickers. They're just so simple and plain and I really like that and it's a good spot to keep any important notes or things that might be coming up this week. So what I did again was I was going to use these stickers and I created just kind of borders around the stickers to make it again a really, really simple, simple but effective page. Alright, so now the, for the final part of this, we're going to pop it back into my Happy Planner and we're just going to check it to make sure we have everything. Something I really like to do is I like to make sure that because I'm not using my monthly spread, I'm going to use an extra piece of dotted paper and I'm actually just going to stick it to the calendar because I'm not actually even using it this month. The other thing that I really like to do is I like using smaller size dotted paper in my notebook to kind of either create grocery lists or master to-do lists. So I've taken out a couple of pages and I'm going to add them to my happy planner. more embellishments especially this one because I want to set some goals this month around well-being so I'm going to use my well-being stickers from the happy planner and I'm going to try and create a really really cute list of things that are really important for me to try and achieve this month so there goes my grocery list and here's my goals list Okay, in my goals list this month, I was going to originally put in some stamps, but then I decided it would be easier with the stickers. So I went through my stickers and decided that I wanted a quote up at the top, something really cute and simple, made sure it fitted, and in it went. You got this girl! And then I went through the list of things that I really wanted to try and achieve. So definitely more me time. And what I'm going to do during the month is I'm going to kind of tick them off as I go. I want to wake up a little bit early. Definitely no screen times in the evenings. I'm going to try and stretch more in the morning. That's why I've got it as a habit tracker up at the front. And then I'm also going to try and do a couple more walks, a lot more reading, and trying to eat less junk food. And by junk food, I mean treats. Because I've been eating heaps of treats. And I've got to stop eating treats. Because my butt says, stop eating treats. So, as I go, hopefully we will keep you updated. As a final flip through, we have Hello, we have the calendar and the trackers. 
keeping calm in our balance sheet, which I'm tracking my time, a really simple spread, another really simple spread, super simple, so many simple spreads this month, and this one's a little bit more complex, but still super simple. I think that should be our catchphrase for the month, super simple. Have a wonderful October and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining us on the channel and please hit the subscribe button below. We always appreciate you being around. Thank you so much.